Hi everybody, Steve here from Concession Nation. Today we really have an amazing 22 foot pizza trader that we're going to introduce you to and you'll see just how amazing inside this build really is. Hi folks, Steve and Larry here. We have another amazing generator to give you an idea of the steps to keep it operate, get it started and, and operational. It's a Kubota Lowboy GL 11,000. 11,000. So, this again is one of those generators in the series of super quiet generators, even though it is a diesel unit. So, we've already got the connection plugged in. Okay, we want to just start her up and we want to go over the sequence on what to do to start her up. So, first and foremost, you need to make sure that all the power is switched off in the breaker panel box inside that trailer. Very important. We don't want to give it an unnecessary shock, especially first thing in the morning. The second thing that's super important is to always make sure that you follow your maintenance guidelines. It tells you in that, in that book when you're supposed to change your oil, check your water, check your fluids, because, yeah, you do actually fill up the water here. This is a water pool generator. So that's also very important. So let's take in mind that, okay, the owner took care of that. They did all that, which we did that here. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do, we've already got the cable connected, as mentioned. You're gonna need a key to start it. So what we do is we're gonna put the key here in the keyhole, and we're gonna turn it that's the first little bulb right there. We're gonna turn it to the, actually the third bulb. One, two, three. Now, when you turn it there, there's a little red light that's gonna come on here on the end. And then when that light goes off, you'll hear a little clicking sound. And she'll start right up for you. Now, as far as generators go, this is a quiet generator. The some of the gasoline generators that are even smaller than this 11,000 unit. But, running nice and clean. The next thing we want to do, we want to make sure that the power is being distributed to the trailer. The only way to do that is to switch that circuit breaker on. And then on the inside, we're going to go ahead and switch on the breaker. So we'll do that in a minute to show you the power going inside of this unit. So Larry, now that we're inside at the breaker box, we're now going to start turning the breakers on one at a time. Is that correct? That's correct. What you want to start off with, of course, is your main. This way power can be, the power that's distributed can actually come in into the, big, uh, the breaker box and then throughout the trailer. So, I already have the interior light breaker on. And then, slowly but surely, what you want to do is you want to click on all of the other breakers, slowly, one by one, so that you don't overpower that generator. You don't want to give it too much of a surge. Okay? You should hear on the outside. There you go, you hear that? Makeup I just air. turned on the makeup air and the exhaust fans. And you can feel it through my hair. Oh yeah. Through your hair. Yeah. It's blowing in through here. I've got the window open, so you can feel that, right? You feel that? Oh yeah. So that's super strong uh, uh, circulation fan there, exhaust yeah. fans. So yeah, and that's it. I wouldn't want to be under there too long, you lose all your hair. <laughs> and that's it. So that's the basics on it. Now, when you're finished at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you switch off all your breakers the same way that you switch them on. Slowly, one by one. You can leave the interior lights on just so you can see on the next on the next trip. And then switch off your main. Then you go back to the outside with your key, kill the power, and that's it. Good to go. Excellent. Good to go. Great. Kubota 11,000. Concession Nation trailer.